Hello friends. Today we will discuss how fibers are joined. Basically, we will discuss splices, connectors, and couplers in fibers. So first, splices. Now, what is the meaning of splices? Now, splices are the permanent joints between two or more fibers. And splicing, splicing is a technique to join the fibers. So I repeat. What are splices? Splices are the permanent joints between two or more fibers, and splicing is the technique to join the fibers. So, one of the types of the splices are fusion splicing. Now, what is the meaning of fusion splicing? So, my dear friends, you must have seen the welding. In the case of welding, two iron pieces are joined with the help of flash of light. So that is fusion. That is basically fusion. So where we use welding to join iron pieces. Similarly, two fibers, two same fibers, having same size, same core. That is refractive index of the core of these two fibers, fiber one and fiber two, must be same. So these two fibers are taken. and with the help of a micro arc lamp flash of light is incident on these two fibers the these two ends of the fibers will get melt and after melting it will be fused so the information passing through this fiber will be able to now pass through this fiber also after fusing now fusing means joining fusion and in this case the two fibers the same fibers same fiber means the size should be same the refractive index of core and clad should be same will be taken and these two fibers will be placed in front of each other and with the help of micro arc lamp these fibers will be melted and information passing through one fiber will be able to pass to other fiber so this is known as fusion splicing second type is mechanical splicing so in this technique splicing of the fiber is done mechanically now what is the meaning of mechanically it is it is v groove splicing the v groove splicing means again two fibers will be taken two fibers will be taken and these two fibers will be passed through a v shaped structure will be passed through a v shaped structure and these two ends will be joined with the help of a sticky substance that is known as epoxy resin that is known as epoxy resin this is just like you can say uh, if you will use a gum to join a paper so epoxy resin is a sticky substance but the condition here should be it is a transparent substance only then the light can pass and the refractive index of this sticky substance should be same as the refractive index of the core of the two fibers so after joining these the light will pass through one fiber to the other fiber so information is passed from one fiber to the other fiber so this is v groove splicing because these two fibers will be passed through a v shape structure so that's why it is known as v groove splicing now the connectors Now, basically, what are connectors? Connectors are the temporary joints between two or more fibers. These can connected or disconnected as and when requires. Well, what is the meaning of permanent joint and temporary joint? Now, if my dear friends, if you join two papers with the help of a gum, with the help of a sticky substance, then you. cannot separate the papers in their original shape so that is a permanent joint and 
what is the meaning of temporary joint now suppose in your room you switch on the light the signal will pass that is the electric current will pass through the wire and the tube light will get on when you will left when you will leave the room you will switch off the light switch off the light means now the connection is broken therefore it is a temporary joint temporary joint means that the electric current is passing through temporary when the when the circuit is complete so connectors are the temporary joints between two or more fibers these can connected or disconnected as and when requires now a few different types of connectors are ferrule connectors what is the meaning of ferrule a metal ring or a cap in this method the fiber ends so this is a shape this is a very very narrow shape now the fiber ends are inserted into left and right end of the ferrule so one fiber is inserted from this end another fiber is inserted from this end placed in front of each other then these ferrules are slid into a tapered sleeve and butt joint is formed between fiber ends the joint can be fixed at its position by locking the ferrule arrangement that is these two fibers fiber 1 and fiber 2 are placed in front of each other now the signal will pass through this fiber to this fiber so when in need the fibers can again be separated by unlocking the ferrule after the passing of the signal these fibers we can we can taken back these two fibers from this ferrule so this is ferrule connector basically in this case you will place the two fibers in front of each other exactly in front of each other through a very narrow structure that is known as ferrule then the information is passed from one fiber to another fiber this is known as ferrule connector now expanded beam connector what is the meaning of expanded beam connector now in this case in this case we will take a lens lens l1 and a lens l2 these two are converging lens converging lenses now one fiber the first fiber is placed in the focal plane of this lens now information is passing through this fiber and we want to transfer information to this fiber now this fiber is placed in the focal plane of lens l1 and the light passing through this fiber is incident on the lens l1 now l1 is a collimating lens now what is the meaning of collimate that is to make the light signal parallel so the information will incident on l2 incident on l2 the fiber second fiber this fiber is placed in the focal plane of lens l2 now this is a convex lens now this lens will converge all the light rays into into second fiber so with the help of this combination of two fibers and two lenses information is passed from one fiber to another fiber the first lens will make the light ray straight light ray straight and the second fiber will converge the light ray into sorry the second lens will converge the light ray into fiber 2 after the passing of the information from first fiber to second fiber you can again dismantle this apparatus so this is known as expanded beam connector and this is a temporary joint so this is second type of connector now the couplers now basically what are couplers the devices which are used to distribute light signal from one to many and from many to one optical fiber are called coupler a few of the types of the couplers are one of the types is biconically tapered couplers but first of all i will again explain what is the meaning of one to many and from many to one now suppose there is one fiber if we want to transmit information from one to two this is one input and two outputs there may be two inputs two outputs there may be three inputs three outputs there may be three inputs three outputs so there may be 
any number of inputs and any number of outputs. So that is coupler. So what is biconically tapered directional couplers? So if you will take, if you will take two fibers placed like this, and if information is passing, that is the signal is passing to this fiber from different modes, from different paths. And if we will heat the fiber from here and slightly twist the fiber, then the these modes, then the sum modes will get leaked into this fiber. So will get leaked into this fiber. When it will be leaked, after heating here at the center and twisting slightly here then there will be leakage from first fiber to second fiber now in this case the input is one but the output is two this is first output this is second output so this is known as biconically tapered directional coupler so second type is beam splitting couplers now what is the meaning of beam splitting coupler now in this case a beam splitter is taken like this and suppose there is first fiber is paced through which the information is passing after total internal reflection and second fiber is placed here and third fiber is placed here third fiber is placed here and we want to transmit information from this fiber to this and this fiber so what is the meaning of beam splitter now who will split the light into two parts that is from here to here transmitted part and this is the reflected part this is the reflected part so information is passed from first fiber to two fibers it is just like you can say you have a prism and if white light is passed through it and if white light is divided into seven colors seven colors then in front of each colors one fiber is placed so information is passed from first fiber to seven fibers so this is all about beam splitting couplers so my dear friends i hope you have understood about splices connectors and couplers so splices are the permanent joints connectors are the temporary joints couplers means the distribution and redistribution of signal so for further reference, please search our website venuscience.com. Please subscribe and like our channel. Thank you. Thanks a lot.